Hey guys, welcome to another video of Sense Saga. And today I have got my niece. Her name is Anusha. She is a teenager. A lot of you wanted a review from a teenager regarding perfumes. So I have with me two perfumes today. One is Beardo Mariner. Another one is uh, Wild Blue from the House of Obsidian. Both are said to be very good clones of David of Cool Water. The crux of the video was to ask uh, Anusha to try two strips which are marked with A and B and uh, she is not aware of which one is which. So after she smells, she is going to tell me what she feels is whether A is Merina or Obsidian and the, and the opposite. The reason we are trying to do the test is because both of them claim to be very good clones of David of Cool Water but there is a huge difference in the pricing. While Beardo sells for around 299 for a 50 milliliter bottle, Obsidian sells for around 1400 for a 100 milliliter bottle. So the prefix of this video is to find out whether she can find out the difference between a budget perfume and an expensive perfume which are trying to clone a designer fragrance. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. First of all, um, G, I I want you to smell the strips A and B mm -hmm. and let me know uh, if you find any difference in the smell. Okay. You try both of them one by one. The, the perfume is sprayed on this step oh. and this step. There's a mild difference, a very mild one, but most of most of it is pretty similar. The smell is pretty so similar. So, on a scale of say hundred percent, are they like neck to neck, or there is like a huge difference between the? They're smell? neck to neck. They're neck to neck. Okay, so now tell me, what is that ma slight difference that you are finding between the two? This has a little more of um. A little more stronger, I feel. Which one? This A. A feels more stronger. Yes, B is not more stronger. It it has a little um a slight. What do you say? What do you say? Smooth. 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 Harsh. Harsh. Exactly. Okay, the okay. harsher one is this one. Okay. Okay. And uh, you find A to be a bit more smoother. Smoother. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So. First of all, do you like the smell? I mean, is this a smell that you would like on a guy? If yeah. This, okay. In a summer, uh, it's yeah. a summer time one. I feel yeah. it has an aqua water kind yeah. of feel which yeah. you like. So, so yeah. for a summer, this is a good perfume uh -huh. for a teenager, right? Exactly. Okay. okay, perfect. Now tell me, which do you think is A? Which do you think is B? Can you identify which one the which one of these two is the expensive one? Take a guess. If I you, feel this one. Uh, a is more expensive. You feel A, a is, is expensive. more expensive and B is the cheaper one. Cheaper one. Okay. Um, to, to surprise you, uh -huh. it's the opposite way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Again, I mean, I don't know why, but in my videos, I have found that most of the time, the, the budget one actually beats the expensive one. So, as I was asking you, mm. A is the cheaper one, mm. B is the expensive one. Mm. But now, after hearing the pricing, mm. do you find, I mean, is there a change in your perspective as to what you feel about the two? I feel that the budget one was way better than the other one. I mean, the smell was so smooth. I mean, it just completely shocked me that the other one was the Mother expensive, expensive one. Yeah. I mean, the only difference that I will suggest, I mean, if somebody has used both of them is Beardo Marina stays for around 3.5 to 4 hours max, while Obsidian uh, Wild Blue stays for around 5 hours. Mm to 5.5 hours mm -hmm. in terms of projection this around projects are 45 minutes while mm -hmm. this will go for one point uh, maximum 1.5 hours but that is also a stretch maybe one hour one hour 15 minutes and then it will be gone so do you think spending around three to four times more for this smell is it justified or do you think that anybody can go with the beardo marina and it will get the job done ah, i think beardo marina will get the job done there's not huge difference between and the two what is your perspective as a teenager is this a perfume that is good for teenagers yes of course i mean teenagers like the cool vibes you know so i think that will match it so yeah. for recommendation for teenagers looking for a good summer perfume uh, under the budget of 300 which smells expensive uh, i think you should go with marina 100%. and save your money on the mm -hmm. wild blue by obsidian huh. so that was the review for today i will see you on the next one subscribe to the channel if you're liking the content i will see you on the next one again Bye bye